protect your DNA. BioPQQ can promote formation of new mitochondria. InfoWarsStore.com once again, InfoWars is right there at the top of the Drudge Report with a story that there is no way we are going to allow Hillary Clinton and her bought and paid for media to bury, although they are working overtime to try to make this go away. Will Hillary disavow Omar Mateen's father was at her rally? This is the father of the gay nightclub mass murdering terrorist. He shows up in full support of Hillary Clinton, standing right behind her in plain view. Um, he's there at her rally in Florida last night. This is a man who openly supports the Taliban. Uh, he's openly called for the extermination of gay people, although he says, you know, let God do that, unless you're in a, a country that practices Sharia law. And then, of course, you can be exterminated if you're gay. Uh, joining me now, Joe Biggs and Ashley Beckford. Now, Biggs, I want to start with you. How likely do you think it is that the Clinton campaign had no idea Omar Mateen's father was there. It's a big old goose egg, 0% chance. They knew what was going on. This was a statement, uh, plain and simple. Uh, think about a billboard, for instance. You don't put a billboard at a cul-de-sac. Put a billboard on an interstate where there's tons of traffic, tons of people gonna see what's going on. This was a statement that the Clinton campaign wanted to make. They had him up there, and there's a couple tricks that are going on too. If you notice, uh, Sadiq Mateen, Omar's father, has a red hat on. So that's kind of like one of those subliminal messages that you see that yeah, you're thinking, you automatically think in a Trump hat or yeah. what to kind of push that narrative that against the racism and all of that. But how can she sit here and say that she's for women, that she's for the LGBT community, knowingly having this person right behind her? I've been to many of these rallies. You don't just walk up there and go, I'd like to be behind the presidential front runner. No, you've got to go through secret service three, four days in advance and you have to be cleared, verified, and all that, and then you get to be there. They bring those people in first, and they bring in the media, then they bring in the large crowd of people, or small crowd of people, if we're talking about Hillary Clinton. Uh, that's how it happened. Well, isn't this someone who's been actively working with the FBI, and his son had been under um, FBI's watch for years before this happened, so clearly they must have this guy on their radar, right? And they know that he was showing up to a rally where the potential future president is going to be giving a speech. Well, I would hope that the Secret Service would catch on to something like that, seeing as how his face has been plastered all over TV since his son went out and committed these horrendous right. crimes. There's I no mean, way. And I remember when it first happened, I was like, that guy looks like he's posh tune. I've been to Afghanistan. I know what these guys look like. Come to find out this guy does have a radio TV show that broadcasts to posh tune Americans and Europeans, mostly in this you know area. And he really pushes this pro-Taliban message that talks about this line that borders Pakistan and Afghanistan. It's this tribal region that's been a really uh, like a battle zone for quite some time between the two uh, types of people that live in that area. So he has these Sharia law uh, mindset that he wants to take out homosexuals, anyone who's against Sharia law. You know, if a woman speaks out of place, you know, slap them around, that's okay. Mm -hmm. That's the kind of person that she is allowing to come up on stage with her, that sends out a huge message right. to the American people. Absolutely, the, the the Constitution, of course, is underneath Sharia law. And then I love that initially the news crew that spotted him there, they tried to you know get a statement from him. He didn't want to speak. Well, just by chance, they happened to run into him at a rest stop, and he said, "Yeah, you know what? I do want to speak to you now." And he pulls out this big sign that he had made, I guess, to put at the rally, talking about how. Uh, she's made the biggest investment since World War II. In, investment in what? <laughs> Destroying the Middle East, arming the arming the rebels there who became uh, ISIS. Arming, arming his buddies that yeah. he would like to have brought over here. And in that <laughs> in, in that clip, security. in that clip, he says something that's really important that people need to pay attention to. He goes, "It's the Democratic Party. Anyone can join." And she was asking, "Why do you think you could be here?" Yeah, he. That's a message right there. Right. Someone called him on that trip from leaving that knowing that he was going to be interviewed and said, you know what, if you're approached by media, you need to say this. That sends out a clear message to these people. Come on in. Yeah, come we'll on take in. you. Right, well, exactly. Arms. I agree with both of you. I think it's way too convenient for them to say that they had no idea that she was behind him. I mean, uh, that he was behind her, rather. And uh, I was wondering when I was looking at this, I was wondering... Does stronger together actually mean that the Democratic Party is stronger with Islamic terrorists? <laughs> I mean, law. <laughs> yeah, in Sharia <laughs> law. Because like you said, this guy is clearly pro-Taliban. He has a lot of ties uh, with his, um, you know, news organization or his show that he has where he talks all about, you know, uh, being against people who are uh, non-Pashtuns. 
Uh, he has a lot of anti-U.S. rhetoric that he gets into, you know. So there's no way that they weren't aware, um, you know, that he was going to be there. And he goes on to say, I mean, in the past, he's gone ahead and said he's not sure what motivated his son to create uh, this atrocity. Uh, he wants God to, God to punish those involved in homosexuality, like you guys said. And so for someone like that to just magically appear there and, you know, with the subliminal message of the Trump hat, it's obvious that they've got something going on here where they're right. trying to give a message to people. I'm not sure what it is. Well, he just put out a Facebook video that the alleged gunman's father has often appeared wearing a military uniform and declaring himself the leader of a transitional revolutionary government of Afghanistan. Mm -hmm. He claims to have his own intelligence agency and has close ties to U.S. Congress. Right, yeah, we've seen him there with pictures there with close ties to U.S. Congress. And so that's the thing. We see this happening so many times with these attacks. They were under FBI investigation. They knew they were coming. Uh, the FBI, of course, knew that there was going to be a terror attack in, in Dallas, but they didn't warn the people until just a, um, an hour or so before I mean, they think about all up. these people that, that see something. You, you hear that whole saying, see something, say something. But people are afraid to go and say something about a guy like that because, well, he's Muslim. Well, and that's the and other then, thing then, I'm wondering is, like, didn't anyone at the rally where she's sitting there talking about, you know, the families that suffered this atrocity, the worst terror attack since 9-11 on U.S. soil, did none of those people there recognize him? Or were they like, oh, welcome. She goes, she goes, we I love you. She goes, I know how many people, families, loved ones, and friends are still grieving, and we will be with you as you rebuild your lives. Meanwhile, the guy's father yeah. that killed all your buddies is right behind me. She delivered right. that line. Didn't say but remember, that Trump's a racist. Yeah. Right. Didn't say anything about a radical Islam or you know the oh. radical ideology that led to him slaughtering you, which by the way was pushed on him by his father who just so happens to be standing right behind me. Yeah, that's what I was saying with Alex on the show earlier. How did no one mob this guy? This guy should have been mobbed by media, bystanders, people like, Wait, you're the guy, right? Like, why are you here? He's very recognizable. Like, what are you doing here? Did why? you find like, Omar Mateen's wife? Like, 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 what's going on? Like, we have so many questions. No, nope, complete and total science. But if he would have showed up at a Trump rally, they would have stoned that. Like, it would have been crazy. People would have been like, hey, exactly. you're the guy who pretty much brought life to one of the most heinous criminals in America right now. Mm -hmm. And you think you could just sit here and nothing's going to happen? Right. But then CNN would have taken it and flipped it all over the place. He, he brings in racist terrorists and blah, 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 blah. And then speaking of Trump, when, you know, everyone's always calling him racist, for weeks they asked him to disavow David Duke when David Duke supposedly came out in support of Donald Trump. So why not the same for Hillary? I'm curious to know what she actually ended up saying when people brought up, hey, Omar Martin's father was there at your rally. Let's see what she said. Every day uh, to keep people healthy. Thank you all. Thank you, Hillary. Thank you all very much. Thank you. Wow, I'm surprised she didn't do her normal stall tactic of just laughing at the question for a, a minute. Right, exactly. <laughs> she thinks everything is really funny. She thinks it's hilarious. She thinks that we won't actually wake up to the things that she's doing. You know, it's very obvious that this was a ploy. This was some sort of tactic. Uh, maybe to attack Donald Trump or to let his terrorist buddies know out there, hey, welcome. Yeah. Hashtag part of the Democratic not all Party. Muslims. I think, it was, <laughs> I think it was a message to the media out there that really backs her. Let's see how lo loyal you are to the Clinton campaign. That you won't that say None of them said anything. This. That showed complete and total loyalty to Hillary Clinton, what she stands for, her BS, what she's doing, her lies. And the only people talking about it are us and a few other outlets Right. Not many. This should be right. front page of everything. This shouldn't just be on Drudge, on Infowars. This should be getting talked about everywhere on CNN, MSNBC, yet no one. Silence. I agree because it seems to be obvious collusion with Islamic fundamentalists. What do you think? I agree. I absolutely agree. I think you kind of nailed it that this is a subliminal message. It's like a billboard saying, hey, you can commit the greatest terror attack on American soil since 9-11 and your dad can come out and say, well, I don't know where he got these ideas from. Probably not my YouTube channel. You know, and you can just roll out, stand behind Hillary Clinton, and she's going to let everyone know on a world stage that we are stronger together. Well, thank you guys so much for your commentary as usual. And thank you guys. We'll see you here again tomorrow, 7 p.m. Central.
Ladies and gentlemen, I've been on this the last few months. You probably noticed I've been more crazed, more focused, less brain fog, more energy, more special reports, and it's because of brain force. We kept changing this formula over and over and over again until it became sort of a grand puzzle. This just increases the compounds you already have. This is what you're actually designed to run on. You will find Brain Force, Survival Shield X2, and other game-changing products at InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139.